Bonjour everyone, I am Marlous, a Dutch business owner, and I moved to Burgundy in France in 2019 with my family. And on my channel, I share our slow and simple life here in the French countryside. I talk about brocante, cooking, beautiful places to visit in our region and other parts of France. And every now and then, I do a home tour in which I take you to a gorgeous French house. And I'm happy to share another one of those beautiful houses with you in this video. Today I'm taking you to a very unique place in a rather unique town called Richelieu. As soon as my host Mary shared the details about this special place and its history, I was just fascinated. The first thing I noticed about the town as I entered the town was its particular architecture. It's got straight streets that look like blocks as I've seen in the US. To understand the history of this town, I need to introduce you to the man who's at the origin of all of this, the Cardinal Richelieu. He was a chief minister to King Louis XIII of France in the 17th century. Now, I could share many political facts about him, but as you can easily find it online, I'd like to share a few things about him that I found way more fascinating. He became famous, amongst other things, for founding the Académie Française, which is responsible for protecting the French language. He's also known as the inventor of the table knife. Back then, people used their sharp pocket knives, and he was so annoyed with all the bad manners that were commonly displayed at dining tables that he ordered that all of the knives on his dining table have their blades dulled and their tips rounded, which is the knives as we know them today. Now, back to the Richelieu town. Richelieu had ordered to build this town at the place where he spent his youth, a village that he wanted to turn into a 17th century model new town. It was seen as the ideal design for a city at that time. So with the permission of the King Louis XIII, he created this town from scratch. It is a walled town on a grid arrangement, and it also had a huge palace, the Chateau de Richelieu. It was surrounded by a moat, had large, imposing walls, enclosing a series of entrance courts towards the town, and on the opposite side, a huge formal garden with gravel walks, fountains, anything that you picture when you think of a grand chateau. And actually, the garden served as an example later for other chateau gardens, including those of Versailles. Now, unfortunately, after a period of decline, the Chateau de Richelieu was dismantled in the 19th century, not for any great political reasons, but simply by an estate agent. I think it must have been too expensive to keep it all up and maintain everything. And it was sold stone for stone as building material. Now, the town itself is about 700 meters long by 500 meters wide. And the town also has three monumental gates. So it all, it's an enclosed town. And the urban plan revolves around two symmetrically arranged squares. And it's on one of these squares, which is today called the Place du Marché, that we find the house that I'm sharing with you today. It is a truly unique place, as you will see, that Mary has created here in a desire to welcome her guests in a cozy Airbnb that honors the history of this unique town and its once grand chateau. Mary welcomed me at the front door, which is right on this square where there is a really wonderful market on Friday, and I'll take you there later in this video. And then she invited me to follow her through this very long hallway and into the most cozy courtyard or garden that I did not expect to find in the middle of this city.
It's from this cozy and really quiet garden that we enter the studio. So Mary has two Airbnbs here and the studio is on the ground floor, very private and as you will see, very unique. When they bought it, it was just a blank slate and Mary really wanted to honor the chateau history of this town. So her intention was to recreate a chateau vibe with colorful touches, but with all the comfort and technology of the modern days. The studio has a comfortable bathroom and a very well equipped cozy kitchen with plenty of brocante touches that you know I love so much. So here you have the map of Richelieu, the town of Richelieu. And what you see is the square with the church, the the hall, the hall, the big wooden hall. So was it the market hall? Yeah, the market yeah. hall. Mm -hmm. And then you see it's we are so central. This is the house. Yeah. You go there. And then when you get out of there are many gates, four gates. And this is the main gate, Port de Châtellerault. You cross that, you have the statue of Cardinal Richelieu and you enter the park. That's the only thing that is left of the big chateau. We will visit the park later to see what's left of the chateau gardens and the chateau itself. But first Mary is taking me upstairs to the second sheet that can welcome four people. I was so impressed with all the work and attention to detail Mary and her husband put into creating this place. They salvaged a collection of cabinet doors to create the carved wood details on the wood panels in the dining room. And they created wood and plaster paneling in almost every room. It is clearly a true labor of love.
So this is the entrance to the park of Rishalu, which is the remainder from those days when there was a chateau here. That is one of the remains. So it was the property was huge. It was the size of Versailles. So what you see here, this, these are one of the Richelieu colors. So they are made from natural pigments and there are uh, volunteers who help you make them and then you buy it and you put it on your wood. Yeah, so the people in the village, you can't just paint your no, you can't woodwork you any color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Monsieur le Mercier. I had such a relaxing stay and have been really pampered by Mary's delicious cooking that I realized I haven't even filmed. She welcomed me so warmly and showed me around the area and I'm so happy to share some of that with you. Richelieu is in the Touraine region, which is known for its saffron, truffles and goat cheese, which we bought at the market and it was delicious. <laughs> Throughout the 15th and 16th century, Turenne was a favorite residence of French kings. 
and the dark and gloomy castles were converted into Renaissance-style chateaux, which you'll find many everywhere that you can visit. It was thought, and still is, that the air quality here is superior to other parts of France. Mary told me when I arrived that many guests sleep extremely well, and although I hardly sleep well when I stay somewhere, I have to admit that I can't remember sleeping this well when I wasn't in my own bed. The region is also known for its wines made from Gamay and Sauvignon grapes. And as the Loire Valley historically served as a frontier position between the English and French during their Hundred Years' War in the 14th and 15th century, this area also has some fortresses that have been preserved, such as this one in Chinon, which was also a beautiful town to visit. And of course, a trip wouldn't be complete without checking out some places to find Brocante. Mary is taking me to two, and this first one was so enchanting. It's right in the center of Richelieu, so really next to the Gite. And I loved the interior and also their collection of books. Il faut que j'enlève mes piles là parce que c'est quand même moche. C'est 
Mais dans tous les cas. Oui, mais j'ai beaucoup euh, à la maison. Je suis rafale de cette fleur. Alors, Bourdin, j'en ai là-haut. Euh... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is the place, the kind of place I love. And the second place was a proper brica brac. I love this kind of place where you really have to hunt and there is so much stuff that you really have to spend a lot of time looking around, picking things up, and sometimes something's hidden underneath something else. This place was so packed, as you see. Let me know if you've seen anything here or in the previous one that you would have picked up. I'm always curious to hear what caught your eye.
in all, as you can imagine, I have had such a wonderful time in Richelieu, in Touraine, with Mary and all the wonderful places she had me visit. If you would like to come explore this region of France, and if you'd like to stay in one of Mary's holiday homes, I have left all the information in the description box below this video. Thank you again, Mary, for your kind hospitality, and I will see all of you next time.